wondered how meteorologists like me figure out what the weather is doing? How do we know if it's going to rain, how strong the wind is, or how hot or cold it might get? Well, we use special tools to measure and predict it, and today I'm going to teach you about some of these tools. First, let's start with an easy one I'm sure you already know. This tool is used for measuring how hot or cold the air is, because temperature affects so much of our weather. To do this, we use a... did you guess it? Yes, a thermometer. On a sunny day, the temperature might be high, but on a snowy day, it could drop below freezing. Thermometers are one of the most common weather tools. You might even have one at home. Another thing we measure is the speed of the wind, because wind plays a big role in weather, from gentle breezes to strong storms. We use an anemometer to measure wind speed. The faster its cups spin, the stronger the wind. This helps us understand if it's a light breeze or a powerful gust. We also measure how much water is in the air. This is called humidity. Humidity can make the air feel sticky or damp, especially on hot days. To measure it, we use a tool called a hygrometer. Knowing the humidity helps us understand how the weather might feel and what's happening in the atmosphere. Another important thing we measure is air pressure. Air pressure tells us a lot about upcoming weather. For this, we use a barometer. When the pressure drops, it often means a storm is on the way. When it rises, we can expect clear skies. Rainfall is another big part of weather. To measure how much rain has fallen, we use a rain gauge. It's like a big cup that collects water during a storm. This helps us track rainfall and understand how much water the clouds have brought. We also need to know where the wind is coming from because wind direction helps us predict where the weather might go next. For this, we use a weather vane. It points to the direction the wind is blowing, north, south, east, or west. Finally, we use a windsock to measure both the speed and direction of the wind. You've probably seen them at airports. The stronger the wind, the more the wind sock stretches out. It's simple but very useful for understanding wind conditions. All of these tools work together to help us understand the weather. They give us the information we need to make predictions, keep people safe, and help everyone plan their day. Isn't weather science amazing?